When you were a kid and you would go to the mall for CDs or to the arcade, were you like me? Would you also stop through the Wilson's store just to smell the leather? Dorklair! Welcome to another Dorklair collecting video. Today I'm taking a look at the Kylab custom leather accessory kit for Mezco Conan, Mythic Legions, or any other 112 scale fantasy based sword and sorcery type action figure. This retails for about $55 and I think think you can still get it as of the publication of this video on the VC Toys Box retailer site. I'll put a link below. This is not a sponsored video. I ordered this. I paid for it. It's my own. I'm just sharing something I got. I actually wasn't even planning on doing a video, but a lot of people said, hey, can you do a video and show this thing off? And it is pretty sweet. And I asked the question, is it worth it? And as far as I'm concerned, yes. <laughs> I I know it's expensive just for a few accessories. It's the cost of a lot of figures. It's really, it's more than a, a Mythic Legion's figure price, but the quality is there. It is a custom piece. It's so intricate and it's very simple and easy. It's not some finicky weird thing. It is what it is. It's a leather strap basically with some really cool details, some storage, some nice buckles and so on. Very nice quality piece. And I'm impressed by Kylab and I will be going back for more of their custom stuff. So what you're looking at here, just as it's set up right now, is a straight up Mezco Conan with a Mythic Legion's sword on his back. You get that long sword and then the Kylab set. The Kylab set includes the shoulder armor part that straps around the chest. And then it's got that sort of belt part with the side, um, you know, those side armor pieces in the fur. Anyway, very, very impressed. So let's get into this review. So you can put it on with or without Conan's other strap. I, th I see most people without that strap, but I kind of liked the crisscross look. And there you can see a close-up of that leather work. Tons of little details, like all these little rings, layers, stitching around the edge. That fur is placed just right. And that strap comes down and it's just got a regular buckle. Like it's very simple, very easy to use. Belt buckle, a very similar look to the parts that are around the belt. And the belt also has that same type of buckle. It's kind of elegant, like it's so simple and nice. There aren't weird pegs, there aren't weird latches or hooks or anything, it's just a regular old belt. And one of the cool things about this matching up with this particular Conan figure is it has these rings here and in the middle that accent this. It makes it all feel like one kind of piece. It's very cool. This part is Conan's original belt up over the top. And it fits, everything just fits on perfectly. So yeah, there you have it. Really nice details. You know, there's a couple different types or finishes on the, the leather parts. You have some darker browns, some lighter browns. I really like this area right up here in the chest. And then you have the strap on the back. And you could probably, it's loose enough where I think you could fit Conan's sheath in there and sword. I don't actually have that out right now, so I can't really I, I can't really demonstrate it, but you could totally do the sheath and the sword, I think. And there's how it looks without the sword in there. And this is just a regular belt buckle. You pull this up, you just lift that pin out of there, and then you slide it out right here. A regular old belt buckle. And there's two spots, so depending on the figure, you might be able to get a little bit of a tighter fit or a looser fit. You need to stretch these out a little bit. I actually just ended up taking a pair of tweezers like this and just running it through the hole and kind of like, you know, just stretching it a little bit before I put that through. And when you weave it through, the details are very small and you might want to just also have a pair of tweezers on hand just to pull that through. And while I have it unlatched, let's pull this thing off and I'll pull the belt off and we'll see how it looks on a Mythic Legions figure. Getting the large gauntlet through there is not too hard, but it is a bit of a tight fit. I wouldn't just ram it on there. And yeah, that pulls right up onto his shoulder. And there we go, fits right on there. Fits really well, actually. And again, I left that cross strap on. I just kind of like that look. Now what you're looking at here is just a standard barbarian body, but for me, I kind of like the Atlas head on there. So that's how it looks on a Mythic Legions figure. And I was gonna put the belt on, but I don't really think it's gonna work well here with this particular setup. I would probably need to think about a different Mythic Legions belt. And in fact, I think what would be kind of cool would be to take the belt that doesn't have the side straps, like on Tibius, 
and try that out. There we go. And the match isn't quite right, but I think if you were ever going to take a belt from Mythic Legions and pair it up with the Kylab set, I think this belt would probably work. You might want to put it over the loincloth. Not entirely sure. But if you get the right look, like if you get this on a Barbarian, it's going to probably look pretty good. Maybe even like paint this a little bit darker or something. But yeah, so that's kind of better than the pantsless Tibius. Anyway, that's my review of the Kylab leather accessory kit for Mezco Conan and Mythic Legions. And let me know in the comments below what you think of this set, whether or not you're going to order it. Also, are you going to pick up that new Conan the Conqueror Mezco MDX exclusive deluxe version of Conan? I mean, this one's going for like 200 in the aftermarket, so I assume that if anybody missed that one, that exclusive version is pretty appealing and if you want to take a look at my review of this particular conan which is the same body as that one it's got different boots and accessories and whatnot but if you want to take a look at my review of that conan take a look at this video right here